Toru Muranishi might not be a familiar name to many people, but he was a man that had a profound impact on culture in Japan. He started his working career as an encyclopedia salesman, but eventually found himself in a completely different industry. In 1992, he was called the dirtiest of the industry's dirty old men. What industry? Well, maybe his other nickname will give you a clue. He's known in Japan as the Emperor of Porn. Mudanishi's story is fascinating and is a real roller coaster to read about. His life story was recorded in a book called Zenla Kantoku Muranishi Toru Den, written by Nobuhiro Motohashi, and that book in turn became the Netflix series The Naked Director. At the time I'm making this, there's one season available, and a second is slated to be released towards the end of June. So, is it any good? Well, halfway through the series, Mrs. B and I decided that it's like Narcos, but for the Japanese porn industry, albeit with a lot more comedic moments. At times, it also reminded us of Breaking Bad and Californication, so yeah, it's really good. But apart from all that, it's a fascinating insight into a side of Japan that's not often talked about. And for me, it was interesting to see Japan of the 1980s represented on screen. This period is known in Japan as the bubble economy. It was a time of glamour and excess, parties and pushing the boundaries of societal norms. The show captures this really well and uses it as the catalyst for the events that unfold. There's a clash of old and new mentalities and the ever lurking shadowy groups that want to take advantage of both. Mrs. B and I really enjoyed this, mainly for its great balance of humour and drama. There is of course a few full-on sex scenes in it, but they're done in a way where they form a necessary part of the story, and not done or included to titillate. Overall, it's a well-crafted package, and I can't wait to see what season two has to offer.